So we all know Zach Levine got crazy bunnies, but there is certainly more to his game than dunking. Let's take a look at the small nuances of his game and see what we can learn. Let's take a look at this game winner. There are two keys to this shot. First, you can see it doesn't square up fully to the basket. Always having to square up is a myth, whereas getting your shooting, hip, elbow and wrist in line with the basket matters more. Second, as you can see, his left foot is placed a little bit further behind his right foot to allow for proper deceleration when pulling up. Next, we got this great decision making in the pick and roll. Zach's defender stays glued to him while Laurie's defender contains the drive. But Zach plays the situation perfectly. He sees that Kobe's defender is guarding two men at the same time due to poor spacing, so he doesn't choose to pass the ball to Laurie for a three-point shot. He rather uses a shot fake that gets his men jumping. That creates a little space between the containing defender and his man. Zach now can use a pound dribble to gather the ball in front of his body to propel him forward. From there on it's easy money due to Levine's elite second jump. On this switch Jaren denies the middle drive hard, so Zach knows that if he gets lower than him, he will just blow by him. As soon as he reads Jaren's hips being turned like that, it's an easy euro step slowing down to let his defender fly by and finish at the rim. Easy money. Now, on this play I'll let you watch the clip twice and I want you to pause the video right after that and tell me in the comments why Zach took this shot. Let's see how many can get this right. Now, when coming off the screen, Zach immediately uses a shot fake, which his defender doesn't really bite on. Additionally, his defender backs off a little bit and has his hands down. That's an open shot for a shooter like Levine. On this play, Zach catches his man ball watching because he expects the dribble a handoff. That mistake is fatal as Zach just goes back to off for the easy dunk. The same principle here, but this time his man overplays, which opens up the back door. Easy dunk. Now, take a look at this fast break. There is no need to get into a jumping duel with Cam Reddish. Zach Redder just initiates contact after taking his last dribble for the easy finish. And with this dunk I want to thank you guys for watching. Which player do you want me to analyze next? Put it in the comments. And in the meantime, keep building.